welcome to the 45 minute video for the functional fitness and gentle exercise. So this is a full 45 minutes with our warm up, with our cool down and with a range of exercises in between. So remember you will need your chair, you will need your weights, um, whether they're weights, whether they're tins of food, whether they're water bottles, anything will do. If you don't want to use them, don't use them, that's absolutely fine. So we're going to start off, start forward in our chair as we do. On that front third, abdominal muscles in and our back nice and straight. So sitting nice and tall, we're just going to start with that little march. So just nice and light, again we're going to work from the feet up the body towards the head. So we're just going to keep that march out. We're going to alter the warm up a little bit on this one. We're going to do one minute on each exercise, which is more what we would do in a class if you were attending with us. So just easing it in these little bits of a faster form of class, not much faster. So just got that little march, keep it nice and smooth, not lifting too high, just a little bit of work through those legs, keeping the abdominal muscles in and sitting nice and tall. Remember if you need to rest against the back of the chair, shuffle your bum back, get right into the back of the chair. Have a little breathe if you need to at any point. So we're going to go for a heel dig, so heels down, toes up towards the ceiling, moving through the knee, through the hip. And if you want to, add in those bicep curls. And again, if you want to on this one as well, you can add a clench and a release through the fingers so we can get the hands working as well. And again, hands get missed so often when we're exercising. And you know hands, they need some strength as well. Opening jars, I'm dreadful at that. Picking up shopping, making sure we've got a nice grip of the shopping bags. Yeah, anything that involves us working through the fingers. So we can squeeze at the top, open up at the bottom. So that way we're getting a leg workout, we're getting a hand workout, and we're getting an arm workout. So we're making sure we're warming everything up. We like to warm as many muscles up as we can before we get started. So doing them in a combined way is best. So we'll do one more heel dig on each side. Then we're going to go for a toe tap. So we're going to tap our toe and tap our toe. If you want to just concentrate on the legs, you can. If you want to keep this arm motion going, you can. So remember, with the toe tap, we're showing our shoelaces to the world. So we're tapping down and tapping down. And you might need to come out further in front. And remember, that's absolutely fine. Not an issue to come out a little bit further in front. We're going to tap and down, tap and down. So keeping the arms moving if we can, keeping those fingers working as well if we'd like to. Always find the finger muscles, they tire a little bit quicker. So we don't work them as much. So sometimes it's quite nice to give them this little workout, get them moving. Keep it going. Got one more on each side. We're going to go for a little match. So we're going to think about swinging through that shoulder. Again, arms coming forward and back. And just on the chair, if you need to come a little bit further forward, squeeze the abdominal muscles in. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. So we're keeping it nice and strong. We're starting to power through now, giving a little bit of power through the arms, a little bit of power through the legs, getting the blood pumping to the fingers and to the toes. Keep it nice and strong through the centre of the body. It's nice and smooth. That's it. I'm going to go through a little knee lift after this. So four, three, two. And one, we're gonna go to a knee lift. So opposite hand across. So we're just lifting on that knee. Remember, we're squeezing through the abdominal muscles, especially these lower abdominal muscles, to help us lift the knee. We're tapping across with the opposite hand. So we've got that cross body working, working through the brain. So the brain has to think about what it's doing. Sometimes it gets confused. I know mine does. And again, if you want to, we can add a little bit more of a twist. So we can give it a little twist here, if that feels okay. So 
just really start to work through the midsection. So that's it. And a lot of the moves again that we do in the warm up, the moves that we use throughout the rest of the exercise, throughout the main body of the session, we get everything working in a way. We're going to bring it down. We're going to keep a little foot pedal going, palms forward, thumbs out, and a little circle. So you can foot pedal, you can march, you can toe tap, you can heel dig, you can do whatever you want with the legs. You can even give them a breather if you'd like to. But it is really handy if we can just keep them moving a little bit, because it just keeps that circulation going through. And that's what we want. We want the circulation going. We want it to be warming up. We just want to loosen those shoulders up as well. Nice and steady, nice and smooth. Remember, we can go bigger with a circle if you'd like to. We can stay a little with a circle. It's up to you. Whatever feels all right for you. Yeah. Got to make sure that your shoulders feel all right with it. Remember, your arms are like weights on this one. They just send it round and it's on. We've got four, three, two, and one. We're going to do a little twist and twist. We're a little bit faster than in the cool down. If we can, just keep a little bit of movement through the legs. Sitting nice and tall. Don't go too fast, don't make yourself dizzy. Just loosen off that central section of the body. Feels quite nice, just get that little twist through the midsection of the body. Again, work at a pace that works for you. Don't go too fast. Like I say, you don't want to be dizzy with this one. You can go a little bit slower. That's absolutely fine. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Stay sat nice and tall. Again, that little bit of engagement through the stomach muscles. Just pulling the belly button ever so slightly towards the spine. And keeping the spine nice and straight, as straight as we can. Again, use the back of the chair if you need to. Shuffle that bum back. That's your last one. Bring it back into the middle. Roll those shoulders. So keeping that little bit of movement through the legs. Lifting the shoulders up, back. Push them down. Bring them forward. So big, big circles with those shoulders. Loosen it all up. Maybe doing a little bit of crunching and cracking. Sometimes mine do. Some air pockets in between the joints, in between the vertebrae there, they're often cracking, popping through the air. Let's just make sure we get all the synovial fluid in the joints moving around. I want to loosen it all up. So it keeps everything working. That's what we want. Just a couple more. That's it, lovely. And we've got two more. That's it. And then we're going to go for a little match. So whatever pace works for you. We've gone a little bit faster. So I feel like you can get a little bit faster towards the end of the warm-up. That's absolutely fine. So I'm going to do a little pause. That's it. Moving it forward. Keeping them going, sitting nice and tall, really starting to get the legs warmed up now. So again, go at a pace that works for you though. Don't have to go at the same speed as me, you can go whatever speed works for you. So just keeping it moving. So in the main body of the exercise programme today, we're adding a couple of new moves that we've not done yet. They're nice and simple moves, ones that you'll make sense when combined with all the other exercises that we've been doing over the last videos. So we've just got one more minute of our warm up. So we're going to keep the legs moving, we're just going to lift and lower, lift and lower. So again, if you think about it, this is a move that we do when we do our front raise. So we're just doing it just without the weights, just to get that shoulder used to the move. Again, if you want to give the legs a little bit of a breather, give them a little bit of a breather. If we can keep them moving, great. Like I say, if it's just a little foot pedal, absolutely fine. That's it. And if we can, we're going to lift to the side. 
left to the side and again we did the lateral raise in the last video so this is your lateral raise little warm up so it's looking good it's looking good so we're going to go straight into a sit to stand as our first exercise get the big one out of the way so remember we're pulling back a little bit into the heels knees are staying behind the toes we're going to push up nice and tall bring it back down with a hinge of the hips so push up nice and tall bring it down hinge of the hips so remember we're sat forward on the chair so we don't want to try and push up right from the very back of the chair it doesn't work the legs can't get the momentum they need to push down into the heels strongly through the legs hinge and back remember bringing our nose over our knees pushing up hinge nose over knees or nose over toes. You want to be always be able to see your toes. Don't ever want to be hiding them behind those knees. Always want to be able to see the toes. Have a little look at them. That's how I work it out. If we can have a little look, then we're fine. And do remember, feel free to use your hands to push up if you need to. We want to try and get away from that if we can. If you did want to work a little bit harder, we can pop the hands across the chest. That makes it a little bit harder because you haven't got the help of the upper body. And that's up to you. That's a way of just making these moves a little bit more taxing if we want to. It's an option, a complete option. Don't have to do it, but it's a way we can just progress it as and when we feel we're ready and bring it down. You've got 30 seconds. So if you want to have a little breather, have a little breather. If you want to just keep them moving, keep them moving. We're going to do an arm exercise next. So we're going to grab hold of our weights. So we're going to sit forward on our chair. You can do this stood up as well. If you'd like to do it stood up, that's absolutely fine. Stay nice and tall. So stomach muscles in, back straight, elbows tucked in. We're going for that bicep curl. So we're curling up and down, up, and down. So nice straight back, tuck the elbow in nice and close to the body. So we're squeezing right into the front of the arm, squeeze that bicep, squeeze that bicep. Remember we can do two together. So if we are standing up to do this one, and all of these exercises could be done stood up, you want to make sure you stay nice and tall. Yeah, you don't want to be swaying about. So sometimes to keep the technique, it's actually easier to stay sat down. So elbows tucked in, we're moving that bottom section of the arm. So the elbow to the shoulder doesn't move, it stays nice and still. And again, as I say, singles, doubles, little mixture of both, whatever works for you. For some reason, I just go to single, single, and then two doubles. Just seems to work better in my head. We keep the abdominal muscles pulled in though all the time. Very important, we keep that core nice and strong. The core works so much for us on our balance, on our coordination, agility. Everything is through the core. So the stronger we can get that, the more we can stay sitting upright and making it work for us, the better. Even just that as an exercise in itself is, is really beneficial. So we're just going to do a couple more. Last two. One. And two. I'm going to pop our weights down for a moment. Pop mine over there. I'm going to bring it into a standing position. So press yourselves up nice and strong. So we're going to come back behind our chair. And we're going to do our little um, calf raise. So weight down. Feet hip distance apart, so hip distance, ankles, knees and hips nice and wide. Using your chair or using your wall. Going to lift up and down. Up and down. So we're squeezing that calf muscle. We're keeping engaged through the core of the body. We're using the chair as much as we want to. So we might be on, we might be fingers on wall, we might just be our fingertips. We might just be one fingertip, might just be one hand, it's up to you. Remember we're lifting tall up through the top of the head and down. Um, if you wanted to, remember we can lift, we can hold and we can lower. So we can lift, 
hold and lower. We can try lifting, take the hands off, so do what works for you. So again, moving it on to make it a little bit more taxing, if we feel we can, is to hold this strength and balance without your hands. So that's something to build up to. You might not get there, you might get to one fingertip, and that might be it. You might get to one fingertip on the wall. That's absolutely fine. You don't have to lift the heels too high, you can just lift a tiny bit and up. The main thing is we're lifting tall, we're lowering under control. Lifting tall, lowering under control. Nice and smooth, nice and steady. Looking good. Give them a little wiggle out. So again, you can have a little breather here if you want. We can keep a move. We're going to go to our wall press. So we're going to move towards our wall. So again, we're a little bit wider with the feet, a nice strong base, about shoulder distance apart. Hands onto the wall, slightly wider than the shoulder, slightly lower. Abdominal muscles in, back nice and straight. Remember, we're going to lean in. We're going to push back into the wall to pull yourself up. Lean in. Push back into the wall to bring yourself up. So we're bending through the arm, pushing out. Remember, we're not locking the arm though. We're keeping a nice little bend in it all the time. So weight down into your heels, so I'll keep those heels down on the floor. Keep the abdominal muscles in, push back out. Bring it in and push back out. So you're going to feel it into the arms and across the chest. That's the muscles we're working. So lean in and then push back away. Lean in, abdominal muscles in, heels down, push away. So really push, use the wall, push your palm into it, lean in and push the palm, that's it. So lean in, push that palm, keep it going. Keep a little bend like I said in the elbow, don't lock the arm out, don't go to here. Look a little bit scared if you do that, don't look scared at any point. Keep it nice and smooth, nice and steady. This is a lot harder to do without the wall, <laughs> but I know that you can see better if I'm at this angle. But that's it. Push back. Got one more. And push back. Give the arms a little shake. Give the legs a little walk through if we want to. Or have a little breather. So the next one we're going to use our chair. So you can stand both hands on. You can stand both hands on the wall. If you stand one hand on the chair, we're going to do that side step. So feet together, you're going to step to the side and together. To the side and together. So when you're ready, off we go. So you hold the chair for balance if you need to. And if you need to be holding on with both hands, it's absolutely fine. You can work up again to not using your hands. You could do a single step, you could do a double step, you could bring it up to six steps across the room, nice and steady. So again, that's working a little bit more, adding a little bit more on to the exercises. So again, like we did in the last videos as well, you can make this step a little bit harder. You can go to just a toe tap, step and tap, step and tap. So that way we're not quite taking all the balance work out of this side. So do that if that works for you. Hold the chair as much as you need to. So we start to bring it up and make it a little bit more taxing. Feel free to go back to having a nice firm grip on the chairs. Again, if you want to make this a little bit harder still, you want to tax yourself a little bit more, we can step and balance. Step and balance. And that you've got to really think about because you've got a transfer of weight just onto that single leg. So that's it. Nice and strong. See there? Have to think about my balance a little bit. Got to recover. Last one. And walk it out. 
So we're just going to have a little sit down for our next one. We're going to go back to some arms. So grabbing hold of your weight, sitting yourself down on that chair. And again, this exercise could be done stood up. That's absolutely fine if you want to stay standing. So we're going to go to that front raise. So abdominal muscles in, back nice and straight, sitting nice and tall, shoulders down. We're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. So palms facing down towards the floor. Wrist is nice and flat. We're just lifting it up. And again, you can do singles. You could do doubles. If you wanted. Not lifting any higher than the shoulders. Definitely not higher than the eye line. We don't want to be waving the arms in the air. There is just no need. And it causes too many impingement injuries into the shoulder. And we don't want that. You don't have to even lift it up this high. You lift it up as high as works for you. So it may be it's a little bit lower, dependent on your shoulders. And that's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, you don't need to lift them as high if it doesn't work for you. Remember, one shoulder might feel completely different to the other shoulder. That happens a lot. Happens a lot. So we're just going to lift up. And down so we're just keeping those stomach muscles engaged again remember i know you've heard me say that so many times don't even want to know how many times i say it over a week when i'm teaching lots and lots and lots so squeezing them in belly button pulls through towards the spine remember to keep breathing nice and steady we should always be breathing nice and smooth nice and steady shouldn't be holding our breath at any point Keep it going, we've just got a couple more. I'm gonna do all mine on doubles. One last one. And we're gonna pop those weights down. We're gonna stay on the chair, we're gonna add a new exercise in, and it is a strength exercise. So you wanna be sat again on that third, front third of the chair. We're gonna use the thigh muscle. I'm gonna do one to the front and one to the side. We're gonna single leg lift. So we're gonna lift, squeeze the thigh muscle, push through the heel and down. Lift. Squeeze the thumbs so push through the heel and down. So off we go. So we're going to lift and squeeze and down. Lift, squeeze and down. So it's a strong move through the thighs. The thighs have really got to squeeze nice and tight to lift that leg. So squeeze and down. Squeeze. And I'll just turn it to the side so you can see it as well. So we squeeze and down. Squeeze and down. You don't really need to be able to see my feet if you can't at this point because we've got a nice, this is a bit we're watching, this is a bit we want to concentrate on. We don't want to be leaning back because we want to be staying tall, squeezing through the centre of the body and using the lower abs and the quad muscle to lift that leg. So it's really not so much about where the bottom of the foot is, but this section here that's doing the work. So squeezing that thigh, squeeze that thigh, squeeze. And again on this one, you could squeeze, you could hold. And that just adds a little bit of extra work. You'll squeeze that thigh a little bit longer. You can just keep it as a nice, steady rhythm a little squeeze and lower. That's up to you. Entirely up to you. That's it. Last one. And bring it down. Give them a little shake out. So we're going to move, we're going to stay sat down, we're going to move on to the arms again. So I'm going to grab hold of your weights and do that lateral raise that we did in the last one. So again, sitting nice and tall. The hands are going to come down the side. The palms are facing in. Again, our wrists are nice and straight. We're sitting nice and tall. We're going to lift and lower, lift and lower. So off we go. So we've got a little bend in your elbow. Remember, we don't want to be locking the arms out. We don't want to lift higher than the shoulder. We want to stay nice and tall. Again, you can do singles. We don't want to be leaning over either. We want to stay straight in the middle. Or we can do a double. And down. And again, we want to really think about squeezing, lift through the shoulder and lower. Lift through the shoulder. Just be careful 
that we don't hunch the shoulders up towards the ears. You want to keep the neck nice and long. So you should always be able to like wobble your head a little bit, like one of those wobbly head dogs in the back of cars. That's what I always think about when I do that. We want to always be able to do that. We don't want to be squeezing the shoulders up. We want to keep the shoulders down. If anything, ever so slightly pull the shoulders down towards the floor. So we're nice and strong through the back, nice and strong through the core yet again. Awful lot of core work in these exercise sessions. Really good, as I say, they work everything. The core is the main section of the body that needs to be working for everything. Agility, power, strength, balance, coordination is there for all of it. So remember, if we don't want to do doubles, we just do our singles, that's absolutely fine. We've got one more on each side. Here we go, last one. And pop those down for a moment. Pop mine over there. So we're going to bring ourselves back up. We're going to use our wall for the next one. I'm going to do that heel to toe wall. So I'm just going to move my chair out of the way. In fact, I'm going to move it over here so you can see. So we're going to pop our hand onto the wall. So just so we're arm distance away, a little bend. We're going to do our heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe. I'm move my weights, heel to toe. And then bring it backwards. So off you go. Oh. Just slightly wrecking my house, it's fine. So heel to toe. So nice and steady. Thinking about looking forward. Feeling for the feet with the other foot. So we're feeling for the toes. Feeling for the toes. Feeling for the toes. Feeling for the toes, and then we feel for the heel. And you might find you've got a longer wall than I have, so you can go a little bit further. And stay nice and tall. Don't look at your feet. Look forward all the time. So keeping that going. So you're looking forward all the time. You're feeling with those feet. Yeah, looking forward all the time. And do you remember what you said in the other video? If you can't go to this position, we could go just at the side, it's like a little pin step, like a little pin head, as my classes call it. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah, do what works for you. Take it nice and slow, take it nice and steady. Use the wall. Yeah, as you get more used to this move, you can move a little bit away from the wall, it's fine. Sit nice and steady and give them a little shake out. So they're feeling all right, aren't they? We're going to go back in with the chair again. We're going to do that little mini squat. So our hands are going to be on the chair. Our feet are going to be hip distance apart. So hip distance, hips, knees, ankles. Nicely in line. Remember this move is more about pushing backwards with the bum. And making sure we don't go over the toes with our knees. So we've got that little push. And push up nice and straight. Little bend, push up nice and straight. Little bend, and push up nice and straight. And we're thinking about keeping the abs in, keeping the back straight, and powering through the legs. So I'll push. So it might be a tiny move, a little bend, and push, and that's fine. Only go as low as works for you. We don't want any pain through the knees. So you only want to go to a point that works for you. Some people will be able to go lower than others. It doesn't matter, it's not a competition. So bending it in, pushing it up. Bend it in and pushing it up. So nice and strong, push up and push up. You really want to put your weight into your heels. Use the legs to really push strongly up, down, push strongly up, down, push strong, that's it, push strong. So make sure again, as we look down, always see your toes, always looking at those toes. That's another thing I say on a regular basis throughout the weeks, always make sure you can see your toes. The only time this exercise where I say you can stick your bum out as well. So that's fine. Last one. 
give it a little march out. So we're going to go for that grapevine. So use the wall if you need to. I'm going to move my chair across so you can see me. So remember the grapevine, we're going to pop one foot behind and one in front. So we're going to do that one behind together. So use a wall if you need to, to pop your fingers on. So when you're ready, off we go. Step behind, step together. So we're nice and strong. We've got that little bit of coordination going on. Got to balance as we move the feet. And again, you might bring this up to two of these great vines if you've got the room. You can add them together. You might go a little bit faster. If you feel like you can, you might just want to keep it here. You might step behind or you might step in front. Both work just as well. Because it's that move in the middle that makes us think about the balance. That's it. So nice and smooth. Just keeping it going. Keep a pace that works for you. And just stay nice and steady. Whatever pace is good. That's it. Brilliant. Keep it going. It's a nice one, this one as well. If you do get it a little bit quicker, obviously, it creates a little bit more cardio as well. But we start it nice and steady. We make sure we've got the moves because obviously done a little bit faster. This one could be a little bit of a trip hazard. We don't want any of that. Don't want any of that going on. Got one more. And that's it. And we're going to just give it a little march out. So chairs there for you for the next one. If you need to have a little bit of a breather, this 30 seconds, have a little breather. Now we're going to go to a straight march. We're just going to march it out. Whatever pace works for you, we're just going to march it through. You can hold your chair as you march. You can pop your hand on the wall as you march. You can just march it out. Whatever works for you. We're thinking march as opposed to walk. So when we're ready, off we go. So we're standing nice and tall. Swinging through the arms. Now you get an option in your house whether you want to march on the front or whether you want to march around your room. And that's up to you. I don't know how much space you've got. You may want to go for a little march around the room. You've got a minute and a half. So we want to make sure we're standing tall. Our shoulders are back and down. Our stomach muscles are pulled in. We are marching. So it's not a walk, it's definitely nice and firm, nice and strong, swinging through the elbows, again swinging back, rather than swinging across, definitely swinging back, keeping it nice and firm, nice and strong, working well. And this one's a little bit of a cardio one, just a little bit of cardio for you which we like, like a little bit of cardio. Just gets the heart pumping. Gets you breathing a little bit more. Nice and smooth. But don't worry about that, it's just my alarm going off. It's all right. It'll be fine. It'll turn itself off in a minute. But don't worry, you can still hear me. I'll be okay. There we go. Keep it nice and smooth. Keep it nice and steady and give it a little shake out. So we're going to just grab hold of our weights for our next one. Now you can use the chair if you need to for this one. We're going to be nice and steady through the feet though. We're going to take them a little bit wider. If you need to hold the chair, we're going to stand this way on. We're a little bend in the knees, our weight's going to go down at the sides. We're going to work into the side of the body, so your hips going to be nice and still. This one can be done and sat down as well. We're going to slide down to one side and up, slide down to the other and up. So we just want to think about keeping the hips really nice and still. So we're just moving from the waist, we'll loosen up that joint. So remember we do this in the cool down. But obviously, as I've said in the previous videos, a lot of the exercises we use in the main workout and the warm-up and the cool-down, we 
We use these same muscle patterns a lot of the time. So that's it, nice and steady. Nice and smooth. So we're sliding down the leg and use those legs as a guide. So we don't want to lean forward, we don't want to lean back. We just want to go to the side. Smoothly down, smoothly down. Keep it nice and steady. Keep it nice and smooth. Just thinking about stretching to that waist. Stretching to the waist. Stretching to the waist. And I quite like this one. I feel like I'm a little bit taller by the time I finish this one. Just a touch. Nice to be a little bit taller. It's got one more on each side. Last one. I'm going to pop your weights back down again. Just give it a little march out if you want to. We're going to go to the knee lifts. So again, you could do them sat down in the chair like we have done in the warm up, but we're going to do these ones stood up. So again, this is up to you. It's better if you can to either have one hand on the wall or one hand on the chair. Feet again, ankles, knees, hips nicely in line. We're going to lift and lower, lift and lower. So if you stand with both hands on the chair, you can't really get the knee lift. You could have a double chair if you need two chairs at this point, or two hands on a wall, gives you a little bit more space. So you want to have both hands on if you need to be a little bit more stable, then that's fine. I'm going to keep a little bend in the knee on the supporting leg. And you can see it's a little transfer of weight. Transfer of weight. So again, this, holding on to that balance, absolutely fine. If you wanted to take it a little bit further, we can lift, opposite hand taps across, lift, opposite hand taps across. So at that point, we're having to work, balance, coordination, muscles starting to work a little bit more. And if you wanted to make it a little bit more taxing, we can do a little turn, and back, turn, and back. And that obviously, we're having to work through the core, we're having to balance out even more, we're having to get that cross body working going on. So the brain is having to think, oh, that's my opposite arm, my opposite leg. I've got this bit going on through the middle. I need to balance myself out. So again, this is something we can build up to. We're showing you the different variations we've got. Last one, and have a little march out. So we're feeling okay. So we're going to do our flamingo leg swing. So we did it in the last video. So leg nearest the chair, little bend into the knee, hold on to the chair or holding on to your wall. So remember this leg's going to bend. We're going to keep that bend so we're nice and strong. We're going to stay nice and tall. We don't want to swing forward. We don't want to swing back. We're going to lift up. We're going to push back and up. So off we go when we're ready. So we're working through that hip, we're keeping a little bend, we're holding our balance using the chair or using the wall. Again, we can go to fingertips if it feels okay to do so. We could even try and lift the hand a little bit if we want to. We don't have to. Keeping it going. So abdominal muscles are in. The back's nice and straight. We're not moving the upper body. The upper body stays nice and still. One more. Bring that foot down. Swap round to the other side. So again, little bend into that knee. Bring it up. Swing it back. So staying tall. Again, hands can be on. Just your fingers. You can try without. Gotta really work on your balance on that one. Gotta use those core muscles to stabilize. Whatever speed, this leg can go slower. Again, don't go faster, because the faster you go, the less stable you are. We want your technique to be right. So again, we can just play around with how much balance we need. That's it. 
and bring it down, give it a little march out. How are we feeling? Are we feeling okay? So we're going to stand behind our chair. You'll be able to see my feet, so we'll be fine. And I'll change myself around and move the chair in a minute if we need to. We do a sideways leg lift, we're going to do alternating sides. So last video we just did one side. This time we're going to do both sides in an alternating fashion. So we've got two different ways of doing that exercise. So feet into the middle, little bend into knees, and transfer your weight and lift. Bring it back, transfer your weight and lift, and bring it back, transfer and lift, bring it back, transfer and lift, and bring it back. So I'm going to move my chair out of the way so you can see. So it's a little lift, little bend in the knee, transfer our weight, lift, transfer our weight, and lift. So we want to stay nice and tall in the middle. We're lifting using the hip, that leg's going out to the side. And if you don't want to lift the leg, if that is a little bit too much at this point, we can tap and out, tap and out. We can even build from the tap, so if you wanted to do a different version, you can tap, lift, tap and in. Tap, lift, tap and in. So you've all sorts of different ways of working that exercise. Yeah, all sorts of different ways. We can do all sorts with it. All sorts. Keep going. So like I said, this is a 45 minute class. We've been working harder on this one. Much harder and bring it down. So we're going to go to a cool down now. So we're going to move ourselves back onto our chair. Sit yourself down. Give yourself a little march out. So that's it. Nice and loose through those legs. Just have a little heel dig forward. That's it. Nice and steady. So we're just starting to cool everything down. Lovely. And we're going to have a little toe tap, 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 tap. So nice and steady, nice and smooth. Just cool it all down, easing it all out. Little heel toe one foot. And the other side, heel and toe, heel and toe, heel and toe. Last one, bring in a little twist, centre, twist, centre. So we're just easing it all out. Bringing it back into the middle, I'm going to stretch those arms out. Let's take one arm across, helping it over. And remember, any of these cool down or stretches, do at any point of the day. They're just mobility exercises, so mobility and stretching really good just to do them on their own. At any point of the day to keep all of the joints working, get a full range of motion through the joints and the other arm. And stretching, daily stretching, really, really important. Everyone should stretch out every single day. Yeah, ease all those muscles out. They get so tight during the day, we want to make sure we keep them working at their best. Bring it in, slide one foot out, heel down, pull your toes towards you, you know the routine now. Weight in your bent leg, hinge it forward at the hips, chest lifted, chin level, squeezing those toes towards you, stretching down the back of that leg. And your other side. Take it out, heel down, pull your toes in, little lean forward, that's it. We're stretching down the back of that leg, bringing it up, give your shoulders a roll round, loosen them off, 
Give your arms a little circle and a little shake. Give your legs a little shake. Give everything a little shake. Give yourselves a little clap. You are all done. So that is your 45 minute video. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care and hope to see you soon. Bye.